Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Power of Better, brought to you by Powering Chicago. I'm your host, Elbert Walters III, and we are coming to you from the state-of-the-art Oracle Industry Lab in Deerfield, Illinois, where the construction concepts and technology of tomorrow are being perfected today. Later in the program, we'll head to a construction site to show how advanced robotic technology is helping one contractor maximize efficiency and better control costs. But first, we take a look at how Oracle combines technology and construction to become more synchronous. Investing in advanced technology, such as robotics and drones, creates the potential to change the way we navigate job sites forever. From counting inventory on hand, to being able to detect problems on medium and high voltage power lines, drones can change the way we see construction. For 10 years now, drones have been a constant presence in the sky. Over the last four to five years, they have been used on large scale commercial projects to go where humans can't, to collect data more effectively and much more. They're very visual. So I always joke that, you know, it's like being virtual superintendent because when you have cameras on a flying object, you can actually see a lot of things. Birchin Kaplanalu is the vice president of the Oracle Industry Lab in Deerfield a state-of-the-art testing ground for the next generation of technology concepts. For Kaplanalu, drones are especially useful when it comes to progress reporting or even counting inventory on the job site. Now it's coming down to look at those pipes. What's going is it's getting closer to them and it's going to take an image. And that image is actually saved to cloud. For applications in the electrical industry, Kaplanalu sees tremendous possibilities. For electrical, it is really wide range. It could be utilities, it could be any plant that actually you know, generates power. A lot of use cases related to construction, but also for maintenance and operations. So in essence, you would be looking at any anomalies along the bus or insulators to know when equipment needs to be replaced, repaired, or just to check the health of a system. Absolutely. And this is also, if you think about it, very, you know, a safe way to do it because there is no human actually close to that equipment. Um, it's energized, so you're keeping, you know, people away from it and let the machine do the job. But that's only part of the drone story. John Weir of Kelso Burnett uses drones for commercial projects like this one at the Veterinary Specialty Center in Bannockburn, where their drone was used to survey this rooftop for a solar array installation. We can actually take the drone, fly it around the building through artificial intelligence, create a 3D model. We can do shading analysis. Kelso Burnett also incorporates drones for residential solar projects. You know, you can fly the drone, you can build that model, you can place the panels, and they get a really good visual on what those panels are gonna look like on their house. Drone operators are required to have an FAA Part 107 drone certification. And with drones becoming less expensive, Weir says that he can't afford not to use them. Because if implemented appropriately, it should reduce cost. The end result in all this is a streamlined process. With all of their capabilities, Kaplanalu firmly believes drones are here to augment human work, not replace it. Will robots replace us? Will this technology replace us? I personally do not believe, at least in my lifetime, it's not gonna happen. Certainly, that technology is a game changer for contractors, developers, architects, and project managers alike. So too are the technological advances like robotic total stations or RTS, or the use of robotic dogs on job sites. They are enhancing safety, efficiency, and cost effectiveness in an industry that demands them. At this South Loop high rise, the robots are front and center at the build out of this raw space, from spot the robotic dog to robotic total stations. So the robotic total station is basically replacing your old method or the traditional method of doing your layout. So as opposed to reading a blueprint and taking measurements with a tape measure, you can actually upload your 2D or 3D drawing into the Trimble tablet. And then the, the prism on top of the tablet will actually communicate with the robot so it knows where you are on the job site, it knows where all of your layout is. Up to 1 16th of an inch from a thousand feet out, according to Nick Dion. Dion works for Building Point. Building Point is the local dealer for Trimble Robotic Technology. 
the innovators of RTS and Spot, the Trimble robotic dog. Spot's gonna be able to gather uh, information from whatever it can see from each location that it stops at. Uh, at the end of the night, you can actually have Spot automatically send all that 3D point cloud data up to the cloud. Guy in the office the next morning grabs his coffee, turns on his computer, and he has all that data at his fingertips. Electrical contractors like Marin Electric have been all in on this Trimble technology since 2018. Marin Electric electrician John Stepanian, a Trimble technology expert, says aside from taking fewer workers less time in a safer environment, the cost effectiveness speaks for itself. For cost effectiveness, you have less people laying out um, the actual job on the ground and they can actually be installing versus it used to be multiple people laying out everyone's waiting on the layout to be done. Now it could be being done at the same process since it's moving so much quicker. And while those arguments for using Trimble technology are powerful, Stepanian says the ability to anticipate a problem before it's built, like a wall that's been moved ever so slightly, makes this technology even more vital. We can actually fix the problem before we've made this mistake. Even though there'll be nothing on the job site, there'll be an empty floor we'll know that the wall is now, you know, six inches from where it was, which even one inch over can make a uh, pipe miss a wall. Which, in Stepanian's mind, gives Marin Electric and other like-minded Trimble contractors a distinct advantage over those not using it. You'll know where the electricians are putting their pipe, and then the, you'll know where the ductwork, the tin knockers are putting their pipe, the pipe fitters are going. You can have these conversations with each other before anyone starts installing, so nothing's gotta get taken down. There's no rework. It's all done one time correctly, and then we can work together, and make sure that every job's going smooth. For as efficient as the current Trimble technology is, those like Nick Dion see an even brighter future. But Spot may actually be able to do some layout, either assist in your layout or do your layout for you, where you know we're using the total station to manually go find our spots with the prism pole or with the laser. Um, the future idea is that spot, uh, you know, the sky's kind of the limit with him. He might be able to go around and start doing your layout for you um, right on the ground. If you would like to learn more about Oracle, drones, or more about the Trimble Robotics technology, please like and subscribe below. We'd like to thank the talented professionals here at the Oracle Industry Lab for their hospitality and assistance on this episode. That will do it for another edition of The Power of Better. I'm Elbert Walters III, and on behalf of everyone at Powering Chicago, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time.